Hi, this is Edward Pacheco again. We're going on the inside of this Denali. It's a 2018? 19. 2019. Now, as you look at this dash, you can tell it has some incredible features. If you look up here in the mirror, Jeff is going to show you. Yeah, we'll do this. That's the regular mirror. So now you can see the regular behind you. And then you just pull this back and you get a camera view. It's much wider, clearer. I mean, you can Much see clearer, everything. yeah. There's no shadow or anything. This is a that's the big difference of uh, being able to see a say a young child or an animal behind you. I mean, uh, you have the camera on, you're going to be able to see everything behind you and okay. and, and clarity too. Right. I mean, it's like a t LED right. TV. Pull down to the, the screen here. I'm going to put this in reverse for just a second. Okay, so now you have the oh, the bird's eye view. You can see the truck all the way around the truck, and right now you can see the tailgate is open. Uh, we can got, see above the truck. Yes. Yeah, we're we're looking down on the truck, and what we're why we've got the tailgate open is we're <laughs> it's got 110 volts back there, and my seat is buzzing. Okay, it's letting me know that I've got this thing in reverse, and it's telling me to look back there. Just don't back up. Right. Okay. okay. So very. Uh, so we're looking. Uh, let's look at the various views. So this is great, straight up behind the truck. Again, behind the truck, uh, it, more of a bur or, uh, fish eye view. This is in front. This is the front of the truck. Look, looking that overhead. That's the front of the truck. Yeah, yeah. If there was somebody around here and the, lower than the right, truck, it would be a This vehicle is tall. You got to admit. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a big, really deal. tall. No. Okay, there's what it looks like from behind the truck. And this is an angle on each side of the front. If I'm, we're looking out the front, if there were a child right here, right now, I would not be able to see that child because I've, because of the size of the mirror, this rail here, I wouldn't be able to see. But right now, I know that there's nobody there on either side. Or a tricycle, or yeah, yeah, any, exactly. That would damage the vehicle, and then on the opposite side, the same thing. Great. Right. And then this is the back of the vehicle. This is so when I'm backing up and I'm trying to hook up my trailer hitch, I can line this thing up perfectly. I don't know if you've ever tried to line up a trailer hitch, but if you're not, you haven't done oh, it. Oh, I have too. <laughs> exactly. This makes a world of difference. Exactly. The other thing that this truck has, the cool thing is, once you've got this thing all hooked up, all right, there's a trailer hitch alarm. If somebody tries to steal your boat, Okay. Off the back of this truck, this thing will alarm. Oh, sweet. This thing's got four, it's got a program so that you can have, let's say you had a trailer, a boat, I don't know what other kind of things you might be hauling, but it has a profile for each of those vehicles and a checklist so that when you take off, this thing will tell you, it'll ask you, do you have the, the, uh, the signals done. You can do. You can test the signals from inside this vehicle. Nice. I mean, this thing does everything. Okay. Now let's go down and take a look at the. Uh, I, what I really enjoyed <laughs> and I saw as soon as I hopped in is the 110. Now every vehicle needs that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In case you, you need to run your saw. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you have a 110 here, and you also have one in the back of the vehicle. Right. Where uh, I. I forgot to charge my batteries, right. and I thought we were dead for the day, and I, evidently we were not. You were like, no, I have 110. Yeah, we got 110 back there, we, no problem. We, and then I couldn't fit into this one, and then you went, no, we got one in the back too. Yep. yep. Well, I'll tell you what, now, if that wasn't more than handy, because our day, my day would have been done. Yeah, we, we came we're, out here not as prepared as probably we should have been. This is the first time. I like the lineup. Yep. G, uh, GM has done a really great job of lining these up, and they're easy to see and look you can have big thumbs and still not hit the next next but you know the little yeah. chinese cars got all them itty bitty things like a watch you know it's just so hard to touch but here the, the instrument panels are huge those are my emergency lights let's see if we... oh, oh you up. also have this is a c port and this is a regular usb port and a regular cigarette lighter port okay and then what do you got next to it this is your trailer tra trailering okay okay if you need to go into low or high you can do that uh this senses in front of you uh this is park assist this will start if you get too close to something it'll beep 
Okay, it's off right now. I'm going to turn it back on. And this is the lane change alert. This thing, if you are driving down the road, not paying attention, you start to wander, this will bring you right back into nice. your lane. Nice. Okay. Now, this truck has um, start-stop capability, meaning when you come up to a light in order to save gas, this thing will turn off. Okay. And you won't even know it's off. Okay, I've done this with many people. They get in the car and they're going, all right, uh, so we pull up to the light, it turns off, nobody even notices it. You take your foot off the brake, it immediately starts back on. Wow. Yeah. Now this has got a V8 in it. This will run. You get on the expressway and you get cruising, right. and maybe you're a little bit on the downgrade, this thing will drop down to one cylinder. Wow, One. saving ton of money. It's, yeah, wow. on, the, on the gas, exactly. Right. And, and then, if it needs a little more power, it'll kick in two or three or four or five, wow. all the way to eight. So you're not running the eight all you, the time. It, you're not running the eight all the time, it's just according to what you need. So this is a really nice truck. Now fill me in on that little green button over there. I mean, most of us yeah. have keys. Oh yeah, well this, basically, this truck, uh, most trucks, in, at least in the Chevy line, still use a key. Uh, most of the Buicks and, and GMCs don't use keys now, but the trucks all do. The Denali doesn't. Uh, basically, all you have to do is have the key fob with you, and it will start and stop the engine just by... You don't, you don't have to take the key fob out of your pocket. Oh, wow. Okay. What, also, what I like about this on the door, and we'll probably can show it a little bit later, but on the door handles, if you've got the key fob in your pocket, and let's say you're in downtown Flint, and it's dark, and there's a whole gang of guys coming up on you, not that that ever happens in Flint, but it you find yourself in a position, i got to get in the car, i got to get in the car fast. I'm scared. I don't know who these people are. Maybe it's warranted, maybe it's not. I don't know, but I want to get in the car. I don't have to fumble around and look for the keys. All I have to do is push the button. The door that I'm at will open and jump in, lock the car, and start it right up. Don't even have to look for the keys. Nice. On a more practical note, hey, I got my it's hands easy. full. Uh, uh, and, and when it's cold outside? You yeah. don't want to have, yeah. don't want to grab that key and stick it in the door. I want to get I'm in gonna, the car. I'm going to keep my hand in my warm pocket and push this button and unlock this door. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. I love the beauty of this uh, steering wheel. Yeah. I, you know what? I want to point just down here for just a second. What this is, is you set your phone here yes. and it'll automatically charge. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. And you know that's where the phone is. Nobody, there's not many people that don't have a phone that, you know, Oh, I noticed this, this uh, cab is big enough to, for an office. You got a couple of coffee spaces. You got a couple more right here. Open up this nice wide. Okay. Here, I'm going to open this thing up. Yeah, this thing is meant for a filing cabinet. Yeah. You got your, if you have the green uh, file hangers, you can put your files right in here. This wow. is the office away from the office. Right. You got a C port. You've got a regular USB port. You have an auxiliary. Uh, and then you also have a place for the SD chip. That's what I thought that said, SD. Yep. I'll be darned. So it's lit here. Okay, you got some lighting. And but uh, uh, you know, because in my day, <laughs> when I was younger, we didn't. We had to carry our briefcase. <laughs> exactly. This briefcase is here, twenty-four-seven <laughs> for you. Right. I mean, I, I would have loved this. And when I was doing construction, this would have been a plus, and and it's deep. It is real deep. Yeah, deep enough for a file folder. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then okay, so you pull your file folder out. Boom, Not, you open it up, you're doing whatever you have to do, you're making your telephone calls. You got calls. another uh, port for your, yep. and, and now it's not charged. This doesn't but, charge. But, that, right. but, but it will, it's, it's non-slip, right. and it sits inside, it's indented so the phone doesn't slide. Which many, if you got a vehicle 10 years old, you don't have that, so you lose your phone inside your seat so many times. Yep. Rear cup holders. I'm going to mm. pop in the back because, look, I'm 6'1". <laughs> And I'm going to move your equipment here, Eddie. Okay, just slide but it over. Just to give you an idea how much room that there is in this thing. Now, I was sitting in the front. It was comfortable for me to drive. Guy you have a lot long. of knee space left. I have a good, good 10 inches from yep. the knee to the back of that chair. Sure and do. I was driving the vehicle. So there was a six foot one guy up front driving. Now there's a six foot one guy in the back. And look at the center. You're, when you, when you oh, go yeah. across here, there are three, men. three guys will fit in here. Big guys yeah, will men. fit in here comfortably. Men. Yeah. Exactly. Five children. <laughs> yeah. And you, the, you've got a rest here, cup holders, and something that I think is really cool. I don't know why nobody has ever thought of this before. 
These open up for storage. Nice. Without right. without peeling the seat away from the back. That's exactly. nice. Exactly. And that you, goes with another one here too. So right. you've got headrests. Now I, the guy pointed this out. There's a three-inch headrest here. Okay, this is so it doesn't block the mirror. But I realized after thinking about that is with that mirror, that camera mirror. Right. You that, that headrest could have been all the way up here. It doesn't matter because you're looking. You're seeing. You're getting, got a clear shot of the back. Exactly. You got the two cameras in the back. Two independent <coughs> cameras. So this is you have a control up front in the up here, and then it will open and shut the this window. I had a truck wow. many years ago. <laughs> So you're controlling the back window from up here in the front. From there, so I can open the sunroof, open this, get, it's, it's, you know, it's not quite warm enough to need the air conditioning. I like a little breeze. You just open that, open that, you got cross ventilation. There you go. So this is Let's really take another cool look truck. at this. Yeah. Let me that see is. if I can get up there. And we got some more space here. You got two glove boxes. We have another deep, yeah. deep yeah. well. This one's a very Yeah, you can put well. your owner's manual, your all your goodies in there. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. So let's go. For this, this is the to slide the window back open. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll bring her back. What's the tilt? And then we're gonna tilt you it up. Okay. Okay. Just you know, just so like a up. fan. Exactly. Yep. That's and nice. This is your garage door openers, and there we go. That one. And that one opened the back. Exactly. So much easier than uh, reaching back, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you want one. Yeah. It's when you're driving. You don't want to pull over just to open that thing up. Right. Right. And there was times I've done that in the older trucks. Okay, and that's on, right on off, and now you can. So, back in the old days, when you wanted to break into a house, and you didn't want them to know you were there, you could turn the interior lights off. Now that was a okay. joke. Yes, that's <laughs> okay. all right. <laughs> but well, point you, is, is, you mean when I was sneaking back in, and I didn't want to let you know I was exactly, home. Exactly, exactly. When you didn't want your parents to know that you were home, you didn't want to light light it up. You can just turn that light off. You open the door. The lights won't light up inside mm -hmm. the cabin. And then you could tell them, "Hey, I, I was here at ten thirty. Yeah, I was. I was just on like time. Just like you said, yeah. I was on time. You, you were guys in bed. went to bed. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's get some outside pics, and I'd really like to take a look at that motor. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna have to talk about them. I don't know anything about engines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet this one's a pretty one. Okay. And look at the in. Uh, you know we failed to show you oh, the I lost, in I lost interior. Deep walls also in the door. Beautiful, beautiful finishing. Bose uh, speakers. <laughs> Leather interior. Is that not a beautiful seat? This is one beautiful truck. Uh, during that whole shoot, yeah. my mic was hanging outside the car. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want to lift this up? Yeah. Oh, let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness. First of all, take a Woo! look at that big chrome grill. I mean, does that thing not have some preference, presence? I mean, it's huge. Take a look. Okay, these are the, how these, uh, these are projector beams, okay? Like when you were a kid in high school and they would have film strip day. Oh yeah. Okay, so what happens is in there, they have two little lasers that shoot to each other. They create a plasma ball and then it has a projector that focuses the things out this way. This nice. is I, this is Star Wars to me. Right. I think it's the most fantastic thing in the world. Now take a look at the fog lamps. Now this is my hand. For basic, the, the fog lamps on this thing are bigger than most headlights. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like a headlight. Yeah, they're fantastic. You've got tow hooks here. Chrome tow Chrome hooks. Chrome <laughs> No yeah, kidding. For that matter. And there's the inside of the engine. Now, to me, when I was a kid, I'd look in engines and not know what I was looking at. Well, as for me, I, you know me, I used to love. I cannot believe the space I see here. Look at that. I can see I can send a wrench in here. This <laughs> thing is almost like a tool. <laughs> you, yeah, <laughs> you can literally set a wrench, not lose it. Look at that. Look at well in this. Look at, I mean, look how pretty they are. Look at this. That, oh, yeah. that looks like plastic almost. 
Oh, well, it is. What, no, when, okay. they weld, when they weld, they end up putting another finish on top of it, and what it does is it uh, keeps it from corroding at the weld. That um, is. Yeah, and, but they did a beautiful job, and they covered it, overlapped it bigger than I've ever seen, which is really, really nice. And as you look inside, you got the thermal on the firewall. It's not this quiet, is very, it? this is yeah. That's what I say. This is very quiet for a truck. It's just not a truck. It's the top of the line okay. of the GMC. So it looks beautiful down there. Let's go around it. As you see, it's got some. What size of tires we got? We got some Bridgestones on this baby. Are they 20 inch wheels? They're beautiful. Yeah. Aluminum A arms. 6.2 V8. Okay, so, so what I want to show here, we're going to open it. Did you see how that... Oh, do that again. Do that again. Watch, watch the step boards on this. Okay, so as so soon as he opens up the door, boom, they come right out. Now, if you need the step to come out a little bit further... Well, I want to get in the back. I left some tools back here. Nice. Get in here, get whatever I need, you know, not have to get in the back. And then just a little tap, and it shuts. So, while we got this down... Let, let, let me get on the other side. Well, I, I, wanted just, to show, I wanted to point out what we're doing. Okay. We, we are charging, the, we came oh. with the batteries uncharged today. Yes. And so this is a 110 volt AC unit. We're charging up the batteries so that we can continue to do this show. Or so we could do this show, not yes. continue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, and this bar here. Let me show it to you. Okay, okay so we're going to lift this up. All right, and let me see, I got bottom button, brings this down. So a push of a button now yes. lowers the tile gate. Right, and then we come in here, we open this so that when we're carrying drywall, it doesn't slide off the back. Nice! Is cool? This is the contractor's <laughs> truck! Yeah, this thing is really cool. Oh, that is beautiful. And lumber, two yeah. by fours, four by eight sheets of anything. So, uh, I did that again. I hit the bottom button a second time. Now, now, now we'll do the top one. Now we're going to do the top one. Right. Now what this does, now, across it, you can put two by fours across, and let's say you had some stuff down here you wanted to drywall on the top, you put the two by fours across and this will hold the drywall in so you've got a two tier system here. Nice. Okay, now with the 110 volt AC, I could be hooking up my computer and I, I'm on a job, I gotta, oh, I gotta order some materials, gotta do this, I'm, I'm doing my job right here. Now, this is a really... Now, now, Jeff, you say the computer now, I know that's perfect for the contractor, but the guys that do the work, I see this truck with the, the 110 and I go, I'm pulling the tailgate down <laughs> and I'm cutting some lumber right here. I just, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I'm not sure if it's going to have the amperage to do that. Oh, okay, okay. You might rip off a two by four, you know, you know yeah. kind of, hey, let's, yeah. we got one more cut to make. Or, oh or, yep. or I could charge my batteries that exactly. then put the battery into exactly. my... Exactly, you can't yep. do that. Exactly. Right, oh, so nice. The bottom one again. So. Now I'm gonna hit the is it the top one from here. You can see that I haven't done this a lot. Yeah, so that one comes down. I'm gonna knock the bottom one, see if it'll do it for me. Nope, I gotta do it in reverse order. So that comes down. We hit the bottom button. This comes down. Hit this. And now we have a step. And now we have a step. That so, that's to answer your question. Yes. What's this for? This is so I can get my old self up in here. That step will hold 375 pounds. Okay? Look, I know there are people bigger than that, but I don't know too many people that driving a truck and doing pounds. Right, and doing doing the construction that need to get back in the back of that truck. Exactly. So that's plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah. 375 pounds. Yep. Uh, I love it. Yeah. I love every, you know, people have been thinking over there at GMC and they are thinking about what people need and these are, and I like the step in the bump too, in the bumper here. Exactly right. You, know. you just need to jump up. I don't want to do all that. I just need to grab this thing right here. Got it. Yep. 
It's just such a practical thing. Now here's the thing about this. They made this car like 300 pounds lighter. And how they did it is that the non-essential parts on this car are now aluminum. The hood is aluminum. This tailgate is aluminum. The doors are aluminum. Nice. And the rest of it's steel. I'm going to get an open view of this vehicle with both doors open. And this rear door is not like a cab door. It is bigger than most car doors. Yeah. So the opening is... Uh, yeah, well, there's that case right there to give you an idea how big that thing is. Oh, yeah, there's probably more, you know, I almost put two cases in there, and that case is not small. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is a huge truck, and this is only the 1500. Right. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Paint job, I love it. You know this is my color. <laughs> no, I didn't. I yep. Pulled it out because... The first two new cars I bought were this color. <laughs> Real close to this color. Well, I, I did it simply because... Okay, I you know, this is my first fil film I ever did. Uh, I didn't do a lot of preparation. I just wanted to come out and give a raw... Hey, this is excites me. I like trucks. I always have liked trucks. And red's kind of an exciting color, so that's why I did it that Yeah. Way. And your friend, Ed, Ed. me, Ed, Ed from Edward Variety Show, always has loved vehicles since I've been young, little. 14 years old, I was pulling out, uh, you remember the Vega <laughs> and the Chevette? <laughs> I used to pull them motors out by hand and feet, yep, with a chain. So to see trucks get this evolved, yeah, evolved yeah. so much, and yet I know in 25 years they're going to do it again. And I'm going to be shocked then if I'm still here. Uh, I'm going to try to, so I can keep on reviewing vehicles month after month. Okay, I got to show you this. Something that I was told, and I didn't know this. I don't know if this is common knowledge. It just fascinates me. Okay, you see this here? Yes. You see these little spots? Yep. Do you know what those are? What? Those are holding this. This is a blanket. Oh yeah. It's held to the this um, hood with wax. This engine catches on fire, that wax will melt, this whole thing will drop and will smother the fire. That I did not know. <laughs> the nickel. Because, yeah, yeah, that is cool. I didn't know. So these are wax yeah. or, okay. Yeah, they'll melt and boom, they'll put the fire out. I'll be done. Now that, now that I never knew. Now I've learned something today from Jeff. <laughs> and that's unusual. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. Trust me on this. When it All comes right. to mechanical. Mechanically, yeah. Look at this. But that's the battery. Oh yeah. If you need to jump. You need to jump. This vehicle yeah. will never yeah. need one for 25 years. You know, you're going to be jumping other people, but. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Your son. <laughs> <laughs> Usually. No, no, my, I got no cameras. With, you know, he's yeah, not. yeah, he's, he's mechanically inclined. Yeah. Eddie's now starting to learn too. Is he? Yeah, he's starting to. I sold the Camaro. Yeah. The six seven. Uh -huh. He about died. He about died. Uh, well, that's and now sorry. I said uh, I had somebody want to buy the Cobra, and he said you can't do that now, because I'm going to work on it this summer. I said okay, if you show me you're going to work on it, I'll yeah. keep it. Yeah. If not, I, cars aren't made to just sit around. It's not owning the car; it's being able to play with the car. <laughs> and some people get to a point where uh, physically they can't do it anymore, and it kills them to have it in the garage and can't play with it. So, that being said, thank you for joining us on our car review. This is Hello. Jeff Snyder. How are you? Thank you. And this Appreciate is the, it. This is the gentleman that <clears throat> will be showing you a car, let you drive it around, and enjoying most of the, uh, uh, basically help sell you a car that you're going to enjoy. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. And as always, as my name is Edward Pacheco from Edward Variety Show. Peace, love, happiness, and health to you and your family. Have a great day.